Hi fitness friends. Today we have another no equipment full body vacation workout. This is number seven in our series already. And this workout was written for us by Kristen Ritter. So if you like this workout, please leave it with a thumbs up and let Kristen know what you liked in the comment section. Although this workout is technically no equipment, I will be using resistance bands, okay? Just one, just my purple resistance band, and you absolutely positively do not need one to get this workout done. So I don't have a warm up, push pause, get your full body warmed up and ready to go, and let's get this no equipment workout started. All right, I hope you are all warmed up and ready to go. We're gonna start right away with our first set. This is a set that you'll be wearing your band if you have one. If not, do everything that I do without the band, okay? The first move, the only difference is you're gonna squat down a little bit more and you're going to do squat walks, okay? I'm going to be doing lateral banded walks. So I'm gonna be walking laterally to work my adductor muscles. You know band, you sit down in your squat position and walk forward and back, okay? These are 20 second intervals, 10 second rest, and there's four moves that we're going to go through three times, okay? So this is a six minute set, and I will hit start as soon as I get my band around my legs, starting with the banded lateral walks or squat walks. Okay, hitting start now. So you have 10 seconds. For the lateral banded walks, you really don't have to sit back far at all. Slightly squat down, keep tension on the band, and just walk back and forth, okay? You will feel that burn in those adductor muscles. Make sure you have your mind connected to that glute muscle. Picture it working for you. And make sure you're breathing. All right, next is a burpee plank jack. So, plank jack at the bottom, star jump at the top. Hover back, jack down, push up. Come up, star jump. Nice job, five seconds. 20 second intervals is so fast and nice to start off a workout. We're meeting with third move is a squat jump and an alternating knee to elbow crunch. So, squat jump first. Knee to elbow, squat jump, other side, elbow. Next move is a double mountain climber. Just like a plank hop, except hopping sort of into like a bear hold position. So high plank position to start, hop your feet in, and out. Hover your knees when you hop in. Shoot back out. If you're wearing a band, keep that tension on the band. Nice job. We're back to the top already. Lateral walks. So again, squat walks if you don't have a band. If you do, that tension the whole time you're walking. And breathing. Nice job. Plank jack, push up, star jump. So big star burpees. <laughs> Squat jump and alternating knee to elbow crunch. Squat jump, elbow to knee. Squat jump. Okay, 
Double mountain climbers. High plank. Hop to both knees in to hover your knee. Hop both feet in to knee hover and back. One more time through these four moves, and you're done with your first set already. So lateral squat walks, I'm sorry, lateral banded walks or squat walks. Star burpees are next. Jack it out at the bottom with a push up. Star jump at the top. set. So take that band off and we're going to move right into our biggest set of the workout. We have a rude awakening of 50 second intervals. So we're doing 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. And each move that we're going to go through, we're going to do it twice before moving to the next move. So I'm going to set my timer here and we are going to go. This is a 20 minute set by the way. Take a deep breath. 10 second countdown is on. We're beginning with a lateral tuck to a plank hop or plank thruster. So you're doing a lateral jump across your mat, tucking your knees up, hopping right into a plank hop. No push up, sorry. Just hopping here.
Okay, pistol, roll back to a front kick and a roundhouse kick. Staying on the same leg for the first whole interval. We'll go the other leg in the next round. So, front kick, roundhouse that pistol leg. Pistol down, roll it back, get up. Front kick, roundhouse. Balance. There's a lot of balancing core work going on with this move. Where you get another tricep push up. So hands are right under your shoulders, body's tight, push up, plank tuck, tap, tap. Really squeeze your whole body for those taps. Try not to rock back and forth. Tricep push up, tuck it, squeeze, tap, tap. Great move. Okay, bunny hops forward. Squat, two front kicks, bunny hop back. So for the length of your mat, stay low, hop it. Front kick, squat, front kick, squat it back. Bunny hop back. Hop forward, no front kicks till you get to the front of your room. Front kick, squat, front kick. Squat, on the back. Up forward. Front. Front. On the back. Up forward. Front. Front. Okay, 
Okay, shake out those legs. One more round. Bunny hops always get to me. Here we go. Hop it. Kick. Squat. Kick. Hop it back. Hop forward. Put power in those kicks. Come on. Hop it back. Stay low. Hop forward. Kick. Squat. Kick. Hop back. Forward. Done with those. <laughs> okay, we got oblique V ups to a V up in the center. So on your back on the mat, V up on the either side, get the center in between. So start on the right, V up, come center, V up, other side. Focus. should burn.
alternating T stand and a leg lift. Plank position, push up first. Come onto your right, T stand, leg lift, down. Push up, onto your left, T stand, leg lift, down. You're just alternating back and forth, getting a push up in between. Catch your breath here, stay tight and strong. Full body working. If you can, and you have supreme balance, look up at that top hand when you do your T-stand and leg lift. I almost always fall when I do that, but I try. <laughs> One more round of those. Before we move on. Here we go, push-ups. before you do that leg lift. Nice job. We're almost at the end of this set already. Only three more moves. You're doing great. Next move is a handstand to a kick through. So what I'm going to do, kick up into a handstand and come down on the same leg, this whole interval, getting kick through on the same side, this whole interval, and then getting the other leg in the next round. So kicking up with my right, kicking through with my right. If you can't do a handstand, do a pike glute raise to a kick throw. Handstands are like box jumps. If you're doubting it, don't do it. So if you're feeling it all like you're going to topple over, fall, hurt yourself from thinking that, and just do the pike glute raise, kick through. Other side this time. So I'm out a little bit. Kicking up, coming down, kicking through on the opposite leg. Another option is to kick up to a wall. One more round. 
of that. Let's go. Around and in tight. And back in the other direction. Make sure you're using your abs, not just those legs and hip flexors. Focus on pulling them in tight, using your ab wall to pull your legs up in. Mind the muscle here again. That's such an important part of working out, even when you're not using weights. I would say even more so when you're not using weights. Okay, dynamic single leg pike push-ups. What that means is you continue with a pike push-up, alternating which leg you're putting down. So get that pike push-up going. Pick up that leg. work. Last 50 second hip interval in this set. Same move again. We made it. Let's go. Stay tight. Lift that leg up. Squeeze your glute. Push through your shoulders.
push up on the kick out, which is the pendulum. Draw your core in tight for that kick under. Now we have our right side for the right leg curvy pulse, lateral lunge, and leg lift. So curtsying back with my right leg, three pulses, one, two, squeeze that glute, three, lateral lunge, come in, leg lift, drop into that curtsy, one, two, three, lunge it, up, lift it, drop to the curtsy, one, two, Three, lunge, in, lift, curtsy, two, three, okay, switching legs, you're going to the left side again, so left leg is curtsying back, lunging with that left leg, Leg lifting and drop it into that curtsy again. One, two, three, up, lunge, up, leg lift, curtsy, two, three, lunge. Focus, control. Don't just be bouncing these movements. Use your muscles when you don't have weights. You gotta focus on that squeeze. Nice work. Okay, alternating pendulum push-ups with the kick through. I'm coming out a little bit so I have more room for my kick through. Pendulum push-up, up, kick it through, other side. Last 40 second interval here. Right side curtsies, lunges, and leg lifts. Pulse it. One, two, three. The lunge up, lift, drop to that curtsy. One, two, three. Job. Okay, that's it for that set. Moving straight on. We have 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Three move, I'm sorry four moves that we're going to go through two times. So we're dropping down our interval one more time to 30 seconds. And eight rounds and hitting start. 10 second countdowns on. We're beginning with a commando down and up and then you flip over to a cross toe touch to so the crab position. So high plank first. Down, down, up, up. Flip over cross toe. Other side. Down, down, up, up. Flip over. Cross toe. Flip. Cross toe. Always keep this simple by flipping over to the side of the arm that you're going down and up with. Makes it much easier to do. Okay, tricep push up. Two hip dips. Hands are right underneath your armpits. Elbows in. 
Tries that push up. Come up. Hip dip right. Hip dip left. Go again.
So it's only four minutes. And you are really closing in on the end of this workout, so let's go. Hitting start. 10 second countdown is on. I'm starting with the alternating heel grabs from the floor. Make sure you bring your shoulders up off the ground, your lower back is pressed to the mat, and you reach to your inside heel, squeezing through those obliques. Exhale. Add the beat, jump up for jugglers. Now, jugglers are two high knees, two good feet. Straight leg bicycles on your back, just like a regular bicycle, but your legs are straight. Crunching elbow to knee. Down. 
Hitting, oops. 10 second countdown is on. So I'm gonna start with my right leg down, right leg, bridge, left leg up, keep the tension on the band, press all the way up, squeeze all the way down. that leg straight right up above your hip it just causes a little bit of tension to make that bridge just that much harder okay next move is a knee trap right leg donkey kick so I'm trapping the band with my left leg kicking up donkey style with my right so continuing to work that right booty try to get full extension Get that glute fired up. Nice job. Okay, next we have squat jumps. <laughs> and then we'll get our other side. Sink it down, jump it up. Less than 10. Touchdowns. So you're touching down, out, and in. So touch down, out, touch down, in. Sink your butt back, keep your chest out and up. Less than 10. Shoulders down and up. 
When you exhale, come down into a forward fold. <sighs> Inhale to lengthen your spine. Put your hands down to the mat and jump back to vinyasa, which is a chaturanga or tricep push-up down. <sighs> Inhale on the up dog where you keep your legs up off the ground. Bring your chest up and open up. Squeeze those glutes like mad. Then come into down dog. From here, I just want to breathe in and out of your nose a few times. Catch your breath. Let's do that one more time. So hop your feet towards your hands. Look up at your hands and hop your feet up there. Come all the way up. Breathe in. Exhale, bring your hands down. Inhale, lengthen your spine, or monkey pose, which is this, and hop back to chaturanga. Inhale on the up dog, exhale, down dog. So one thing I'm really working on with this practice is to match my breath to the movements and to breathe in and out of my nose. From here, I'm going to lift my right leg and go into a three-legged dog and draw my knee into the elbow or tricep and then back up, knee to nose, back up and knee to opposite elbow and back up. Now I'm going to bring my foot all the way through Come into crescent lunge on my right leg. Open up into warrior one, or warrior two, sorry. Reverse warrior. And come all the way down, bringing my front leg back to another vinyasa. Inhale on the up dog, exhale on the down dog. I'm gonna do the same on my left leg. So lift your left leg elbow, nose, opposite elbow, crescent lunge, warrior one, warrior two, inhale on the warrior, reverse warrior, exhale, down to a vinyasa. down dog. Take a few breaths here. Floating my knee feet into chair pose. Exhaling down. Inhale to lengthen. Vinyasa back and down we go. Then we're back in down dog. From here, we are going to do those two warrior flows again, one on the right side and one on the left. And I'm going to try to move at the same pace as my breath. Knee to elbow. Knee to nose. Knee to opposite elbow. Stepping through to crescent lunge. Coming up, opening up to warrior, reverse, coming all the way down, vinyasa, back to the dog, going with the left leg, knee tucks, Exhale back into down dog. From here, 
dropping my knees down, coming into a tabletop position for a couple cat cows. Tucking your head for the cat and exhaling. Inhaling on the cow. And from here, coming up to my knees and just reaching back to my heels for a nice stretch. Open up your chest. Let your head hang lightly. Reaching one arm up and back. And now the other. And then I'm just going to come down to a seated position, crossing my legs over, putting one hand on the ground and reaching over, stretching my side. And back to center. Deep breath, other side. for today. So make sure that if you enjoyed that cool down ending, let me know in the comments. Let Kristen know what you liked about this workout. My favorite part in the hit was doing the 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off, two times through before moving to the next move. That really, really made it focus the butter on a little bit more. So let me know what you liked. Let Kristen know what you liked. Leave it with a thumbs up, treat yourself well, be proud of your work, and I will see you all at the very next workout.